do you master the art of that swirl without looking really ridiculous and I've tried to get a lesson on this recently, but I have Letty Teague here to help me answer. out. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, Wendy. Now, so. the, I, I'm so Lydia well that I'm going to pour for you. Okay. Now you were. You don't you, trust me. I, well, <laughs> I totally trust you, Letty. But I want I want to you, want you to talk because you know uh, okay. the first thing, the about most swirling. most of this about this. You set out to find out why do we swirl in the first place. So explain what the science is behind that. You know, I just I I, I, I well go backwards and say, you know, it just, it struck me that uh, um, here was this thing that, that uh, wine drinkers do all the time, but nobody really thinks very much about it. So it's very automatic, you know, it certainly is for me and, and for, for, you know, all the professionals that I talk to, they just, they just did it um, without, you know, thinking so much about it, you know, the direction, the duration, right. all the questions that come up. And yet there were these uh, um, Swiss researchers that actually, um, they're, they're physicists, so their interest wasn't necessarily the aromatics of wine, but they used wine as, as an example of the effect of, of, of swirling on, on a liquid. And their intention wasn't mine, but... <laughs> but, it's, but it releases no. the aromas. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's part mm -hmm. of the main reason mm -hmm. we do it. And you just mentioned is. Yeah. swirling. Is there, I mean, my instinct as a right-handed person is to swirl counterclockwise. Right, right. Did you find that it makes any difference? That's Which an excellent question because most right-handed people I know um, swirl counterclockwise. Some swirl clockwise. I don't Some even think swirl, I can swirl both ways. Oh, there we go. You know, actually, I, but it, it was fascinating to me that the winemakers that I talked to, I mean, then I had a theory because I talked to some winemakers down under and I thought, do they swirl? Down you know, because you mean of Austra Australia. Sorry, down under right. Australia and, and South America. said, so if we swirl, you know, counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, <laughs> they do they swirl clockwise? Yeah. Because, you know, their water goes. And they said, no, absolutely not. And I'm sure they thought I was crazy for asking. But then a couple winemakers said, actually, they swirl both ways just to see if the Which wine, in fact, tastes any differently, smells any differently, and in fact there are theories um, about that very fact, which uh, you know, some wine makers think that uh, you you get different aromas if you swirl clockwise right. than if you swirl counterclockwise. For but example, but the key is you're opening up the wine. How mm -hmm. I, did I pour enough? I didn't. Mm -hmm. I tried to pour like about a, less, a third or less of the glass. Is that Absolutely about the right. right amount? Absolutely right. Uh, right. Because you don't want it too full, you might splash up in your face, and that's exactly. Now you're no. getting right into the <laughs> sniffing. So how long? That, I just have to say, how long do we swirl for? And again, nobody could answer this, but I'm I'm saying about four or five seconds. That seemed to be what I was noticing. Right. People would swirl for that duration. Um, you can also, if you're if you're not getting aromas, and we've got this great uh, uh, German Riesling, which is intensely aromatic, which so not so much right here. Mm -hmm. of a problem. But you can also you can also cover yeah. the if glass you've and your swirl. Hands. Well, <laughs> Wendy, I know that you have. Yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> Just saying. And, and, Just and if it really intensifies. The aromas it really lifts the aromas. You have okay. to ask you. So you just put your nose, nose deep in the glass. Mm -hmm. Now some people are up here, but you really that's have not to get. That's it. not going to get you anything. Nothing. You're smelling what's out in the newsroom. You so know, don't so be shy. Know. Get that nose down in there. Exactly. And and then what do you? What just if you? Let's just say you smell something great. What's right. a smart thing you can say to impress people? That you so you don't just say like, oh, that smells really good. Yeah. What should I, we say? I think in this case because it's. Because it's Riesling, and to say that is well, it's it's dazzling. I mean, the, the dazzling. it's aromatically dazzling. Dazzling, you know? <laughs> dazzling. And I sort of feel like that word is is applicable today. And do you find that that if you are going to go out to the restaurant mm -hmm. and you're going to order a, a, a bottle of good wine, you right. should actually do this. Like you're not looking pretentious in front of your friends while you do the swirl. No, it has a very practical reason. Well, one thing you do want to do is actually in which we didn't do is to not swirl because you mm -hmm. want to you want to see what it smells like before pre-swirl right. um, and and then you swirl because you're you it's sort of like you know see how much you can get you know unreleased and then and then once you release the the aromas and I'm going yeah, you, you can go both ways. I actually You're go very both ambidextrous ways, yeah. with, with this. And also Years the clinging to the glass. Is there, very quickly before we let you go, any type of glass, Letty, that's better for the swirling and the tasting than others? I, I think, you know, the bigger the better, which is why I brought my own even larger glass. My well, is pretty big, actually. Um, you know, uh, you want a, a, a fairly generous bowl and, and, and you know, a fairly, not, you know, not excessively large, but a large enough, you know, opening so you, it, the aromas are, are released into the, into the air. Fair. So not one of those little teeny, Not a tiny you know, one, not a shot no, glass by any no, means. Not a shot all right, Letty Teague, thank Cheers. you so much. Dazzling wine we have here. Appreciate you being with us.